Yo, what is up? What is happening? Welcome back to another episode of Those Car Dudes. Today, we're chucking bucket seats in the Sylvia. All right, guys, so today is gonna to be a little bit of a test and fit to make sure everything uh, bolts up. We haven't even test fitted these, so come with us. Embark with us on this journey of installing bucket seats in your S14 the proper way in New Zealand. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy that can get no love from me. Now we've temporarily installed these bucket seats uh, in the S14 uh, quite a while ago and we've used R32 seat rails uh, to hold them in. We just couldn't help ourselves, we just needed to get bucket seats in this car, but we need to put some proper S14 seat rails in the car. Now as we can see, the bolts holding the current seats onto the car um, are the three bolts on the corners. And as we can see at the bottom here, the, the bolt hole doesn't quite line up with the seat rails. All right guys, so the first step is to get the seats out of the car and get the carpet removed. BMW drivers are very kind hearted and this bolt it's not coming undone. Alright, it's ready to come out. Okay. The carpet came out right actually. So, as we can see underneath the seat rails, there are four bolts holding on the seat rails to the actual uh, bucket seat. So we're gonna remove those bolts and nuts and then we're gonna put the new seat rail on the bucket seat. Now while I'm removing these uh, seat rails from the bucket seats, Nathan is gonna get on to removing the interior of the car. Nathan, you'll find that the interior comes up so easy in that car. Yeah, it does. There it is. And it's a race car. <laughs> you. All right guys, now because we will be putting in these little plates onto the tunnel and sandwich them onto the tunnel uh, for the seatbelt buckle. So we're gonna cut these little brackets off the actual rails and then that way we will utilize these plates once they're on the car. I just wanna say, I just want to say that I'm really excited to get the Sylvia sideways. Very, very excited. Here we have the plates that are going to hold the seatbelt um, clicker thing in, and these are a legal requirement in New Zealand for the car to get cert. So these plates are a specific size, thickness, blah, 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 blah. And we need to drill out the four um, holes in the corners of these to a five mil hole so we can fit the correct rivets into these. All right, so we've done a quick little test fit with the new seat rail in the car. All the bolts holes seem to be lining up perfectly, which is awesome. Um, now we found the little spot where we will be needing to drill into the car. And basically what needs to happen is, is that this sound deadening is exactly where <laughs> the plate needs to go. So in order for that plate to sit flush with the tunnel of the car, we're gonna try and chisel or hack or do whatever we need to do to get rid of that sound deadening where the plate needs to go. We 
might just give that a quick little sand and a paint, uh, simply because it looks like open steel, so we don't want that to rust. So I don't have any white paint, but I guess it's gonna be covered by carpet anyway, so silver's gonna have to do. All right, so a quick little test fit of the seats on the car, and uh, basically having the seat belt buckle here. I now have a relatively good idea of where to put these plates to hold the seat belt buckles onto the car. Now one thing to remember when we're installing these seat belt buckles is that once, once we put the seat belt on across our body, we need to make sure that the bottom strap or the bottom strop is uh, touching our body. So if we mount this too much forward, there's going to be a gap between that belt and our body. So we're going to make sure that we mount that back far enough. Uh, so that strop is in contact with the body at all times. So after putting the bucket seat in the car for a quick test fit, it appears that we need to remove a bit more sound deepening in order for us to mount the plates. It's like licorice. I wouldn't. Who needs sound deepening in a race car, Nathan? Nobody. Not me. But you're telling me this is a street car, so I don't know what, what you're doing actually. <clears throat> Is it a street car or a race car, bro? That's a bit of both, Nathan. I just want it to be everything my heart ever desired. Mm. I had high dreams. I had a lot of dreams for this S14. What happened to them? <sighs> we painted it. We painted it? <laughs> we painted the S14. And all the dreams went out the door. Now, before we can install these seat belts to the car, uh, we need to make sure that they are bent the right way. Now, because we will be bolting them that way, it means that the seat belt buckle will be facing the wrong way around. So we're gonna take the bolt out of the original seat belt buckle, put the seat belt buckle in the vise and bend this bracket straight, if not a little bit more to the opposite angle. And in that way, we can have the seat belt buckle the right way around. Oh my god. <laughs> just bend it, bro. Just, just bend it, bro. Just heat bend. it up. Bend it, bro. Just, just heat it up, bro. Just heat it up. Yo, what's up? Just putting our seat rails now on our bucket seats using these bolts, and uh, then we're going to bolt it up into the car. So thanks to Nathan for drilling the holes in these plates. It's finally time to put them on the car and uh, measure them up for where we will be drilling the holes into the tunnel of the car. So the way that we measured it is once we put the car seat in the car, we measured that the best place to put the buckle um, would be slightly just above this last hole where the seat gets bolted onto the car and then slightly to the right. Now that that's all marked up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a hole punch and then we're gonna do a hole punch into those little markings and then get the drill on it. Start riveting. Wow, that's amazing. Look at that. Glorious day, glorious day. This drill needs an alignment, bro. You need an alignment. What a beautiful noise! <laughs> Dual pro. <laughs> you drove into my drive shaft, you mother trucker. To never help your friends on cars, ever. It's just not worth it. So last night we managed to drill the holes into the tunnel, which is really sweet. We got it done on this side, and we also got it done on the other side. All right guys, well it's finally time to put these plates on the S14. Now we're gonna be putting this plate uh, on the inside of the car, here inside of the cabin. And then this plate here with the nut that's tacked onto the plate, that's gonna go underneath the car inside of the drive shaft tunnel. Now these plates will be held on by these rivets. Now these are six to six rivets. Uh, they have a 10 millimeter grip size, and that's gonna hold on these plates to the car. 
we've already drilled the holes for where we will be riveting these plates to the car. So we're gonna line those up and we're gonna put these rivets through like so. Now with that plate being held on with the rivets on the inside of the car, we're gonna slide this underneath of where the drive shaft tunnel is, pop those over the rivets, and then rivet from the inside of the cabin, which will sandwich those onto the panel of the car. Now with the plates being held on with that bolt to the car, we can go ahead and rivet these plates to the car. I'll get the grinder, Mike. Cut off the excess. <laughs> Well, there it is guys, the seats are in the car and we put the little plates in for the seat belts and that means now we can actually use the seat belts instead of just having to like tuck them under our bum, uh, we can literally just... So what you're saying is your seat belts are actually functional now. Functional That's and also beautiful. legal here in New Zealand now that we have those little plates. So we can take this car literally down the road right now, go get certification, go get WAF, go get registration and go sideways around the corners, Nathan. That's On awesome. legal roads. That is so good. And the thing is, is now we've gotten rid of those big chonky seats that you know you save a bunch of weight and these ones hug you so they make a huge difference on the track it's all road legal it's kind of a no-brainer it's not a huge amount of money and it makes a huge difference but thank you so much for watching guys we've got plenty more coming we've been putting out as many videos as we can lately and it's been so exciting right. so make sure you hit that sub button and we will see you in the next video Peace out. Out.